Today in this third video on ExtremeSFX.com, we are going to show you how to color your custom latex cuts, gashes, and wounds, transforming yourself into a bloody accident victim. To do this, you will need a few things. Rubber mask grease makeup in red, black, and the rubber mask grease makeup injury wheel, translucent powder, blood gel, stage blood. You will also need a variety of makeup tools like brushes and makeup sponges. Start by coloring the insides of the wounds with red rubber mask grease makeup. We use an angle brush so we could taper the red off of the piece onto the face, continuing the line of the gash. Next, apply maroon from the injury wheel along the inside edges of the wounds, blending slightly with the red. Using a thin, round brush, apply black to the insides of the wounds in the areas you want to look the deepest. Now we blend the colors inside the wounds a little by patting and lightly dry brushing over them. You don't want to blend the colors so much that they become mushy, you just want to soften the lines between them. To make the edges of the prosthetic pieces disappear onto the face, we use warm honey from the injury wheel. Apply it thickly onto the edges of the prosthetic so the latex disappears and then blend it out onto the skin. Dark purple is patted lightly onto the outside edges of the wounds with a flat, rounded brush. This gives the look of blood pooled under the skin and also gives the wounds more dimension. We also applied the dark purple to the under eye area to create bruised looking dark circles. A little thunder gray to the under eye area hollows out the eyes even more. Set the cream makeup, pat translucent powder onto the face. You can use a powder brush like we did, or use a powder puff. What is important is to start by pressing more powder than you think you need onto the face, then carefully brushing away the excess. You don't want to smudge the makeup by brushing over it before it is set. To give your accident victim a really gory look, apply blood gel in the wounds. Blood gel is nice and thick and doesn't run very easily, so it will pretty much stay wherever you put it. Add stage blood to the wounds over the blood gel. Stage blood is a bright red product that looks exactly like fresh running blood. It's a great finishing touch to have dripping out of the wounds. Thank you for watching the third and last video of our Bloody Accident Victim Makeup Tutorial Series. You can purchase all of the products used in this video at ExtremeSFX.com. If you enjoyed this tutorial, like, share, comment, and check out ExtremeSFX.com to see more awesome characters.